Hi, I'm Fadita Barnes and I was the quantity surveyor for Naila Love on the Snow Leopard Habitat at Wellington Zoo. The project was to turn the old sun bear habitat into a larger, fully enclosed habitat for Usher and Manju, two snow leopard sisters that were bred at Melbourne Zoo. My name's Chris Jerram, I'm the Director of Safety, Assets and Sustainability at Wellington Zoo. Yeah, the snow leopard habitat at Wellington Zoo is really important. It's been uh, a long time coming, about 10 years in the planning. And for Wellington, it just creates a, a brand new asset that encourages people from outside the Wellington region to come and uh, also gets the community uh, re-energised and excited to come back to Wellington Zoo. Cats have been out and about, they've really been enjoying the habitat, been exploring all sorts of different spots, sitting in some unusual spots that we didn't expect, but that's meant that they've been right up close with the visitors coming through, so uh, really easy to have them getting engaged and excited about the snow. The moment that I enjoyed the most, I think, was actually seeing the animals out in their habitat for the first time. They are just absolutely stunning animals and to see them wandering around and using all parts of the habitat, they look really at home. The almost vertical nature of the site and working in a live zoo environment which is open to the public every day presented us with a very challenging build. The concrete mountains were an interesting design feature. They do a lot of work, a lot of the heavy lifting. They apply a structural anchor to the mesh, but on top of that we've added an additional layer of carving hidden snow leopards into some of the panels so kids can go around and try and find each of the snow leopards that they're hiding. There's a mesh roof over the whole habitat as snow leopards can jump up to six metres and the glass in the viewing areas needed to be thick enough to survive the impact of the snow leopard at speed. It was important when we were designing the habitat to have it fully enclosed, but we really wanted that structure to be quite light. The mesh is so transparent that you can actually experience the whole habitat um, from further back. So it was a bit unexpected, but really pleasant that people can experience the whole habitat just by choosing the mesh that we did. A lot of the rock work in the habitat is um, shotcrete applied to timber retaining walls. So it looks like natural rock, but it's all effectively mock rock and has been carved by contractors. The reason that Wellington Zoo um, enjoys working with Naila Love is that they understand the complexities of working safely around our visitors and the community. The Wellington Zoo team were really great to work with. You could see their passion when it came to making sure that the habitat was perfect for their animals. We are really excited to have been part of bringing this amazing attraction to Wellington Zoo.